Lisa. So it's been an absolute minute since I jumped on YouTube and filmed a video for YouTube because it's just been so hectic. Life has been hectic with everything that's been going on with the pandemic, everything that's been going on with work. So I wanted to find some time today to film a very, very quick mini review of the wig that I'm wearing right now and that is a wig from Renee of Paris. So before I get into it, I hope everyone is okay. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Kim. I have alopecia universalis and complete hair loss. I love to wear wigs, talk about wigs, and talk about everything related to hair loss. So thanks for joining me today for this mini review of the Renee of Paris wig that I'm wearing. So you probably all recognize the shade. This is Melted Marshmallow, one of my absolute favorite Renee of Paris blondes. It's a beautiful ombre and it just has the most beautiful highlighted tips down the bottom. But let me talk a little bit about what this style is. So the style is actually called Beach Wave Bob. So Beach Wave Bob is actually a um, limited edition style. It came out in Mother's Day or it came out for Mother's Day, but because of the pandemic and everything that went on, they delayed the release, or Renee of Paris delayed the release of this and only released it to a certain amount of retailers. So this was limited edition. I don't think you can find this style anymore, but I'll give you some tips and alternate styles that you might be able to find if you're interested in this beachy wave bob with this like really modern curl pattern. So, okay, so this is beachy wave bob. It is a basic cap wig. I purchased this on clearance from the Beauty Nook. If you don't know the Beauty Nook, I will have um, all the details down below so that you can go follow the Beauty Nook support page on Facebook. I was really lucky to get this. There was only a few made, as I said, limited edition for Mother's Day this year. And I'm so happy that I got to try it because it's been a really long time since I've tried a basic cap. I'll take it off in a little bit to show you what it looks like on the inside. But yeah, this style is just really gorgeous. It looks really realistic. I usually stay away from basic caps because I have no bio hair to blend into the cap. But this one actually looks really good because it has quite a bit of um, permatease that does look like baby hairs. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this looks. I'll come a little bit closer to the camera to show you all the features and show you what it looks like from the inside too. So let me do a quick spin and I will show you what this style looks like from all angles. Cute, right? So this style is a beachy wave. Now this wave is quite modern. We've seen a few styles like this in 2019, 2020, um, and primarily from Beltres. So Beltres has a style called Stumptown or Stumpton, which is a really similar wave pattern to this, um, but it is heat friendly. So this is regular synthetic. So if you can't find this or if it's no longer available, then I would definitely recommend looking at the Beltress Stumpton if you like this kind of style. Now, the fibers on Rene of Paris. So I've not worn a Rene of Paris wig pretty much since my previous Kai or my previous Dakota. And I found the fibers to be quite dry and almost a little bit coarse. Now these ones I find they're much lighter and airier, which is really lovely because it just feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing on your head. It's not itchy at all, the fibers are quite fine and they're a tad smoother than what I found um, Dakota or Kai to be. So I think their fibers have improved significantly since the last time I wore a Renee of Paris wig. So let me kind of show you what these little fibers look like here on the hairline. So as you can see, there are these permatease fibers all throughout the wig. And that's because it is a basic cap. It's open wefted and the fibers are there to give it some body and to hide, I guess, the seams and the wefts on the areas around the crown and the forehead. But in my opinion, I think that helps it look a little bit more realistic too. So I actually received this out of the box and it was a little bit of a mess. And I'll insert a bit of a styling demo that I did and posted on my Instagram when I did the unboxing. So I will have my link to the Instagram down below if you'd like to go see the 
the full video of the unboxing and my initial thoughts and please go check that out. So here's the styling for you to have a look at and see how I styled it. It was a bit of a mess, you know, I combed it. I think you may have seen one of my previous videos. I use a reptile comb or a teasing comb or a back, back teasing comb to move these out of the face and keep them styled off my face. I didn't use any product. That's because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this one because of the size. So the size is actually really quite large. So I'm a petite average head size and this runs really large. I have the adjusters pulled really close in at the moment and it has so much space. So I've actually talked to another wig sister who owns this as well and for her it, it works really nicely. I just think it is a little bit too big for me. So that, that lends me to believe there might be some inconsistencies in the Renee of Paris sizing. Previously with Kai and Dakota, I found that the caps did run a bit large on me. So I would probably say they're more closer to standard average with the potential to fit a little bit larger as well. But I also think that basic caps tend to run a bit larger too. I've not worn a basic cap wig which fit me perfectly or ran petite or ran smaller than average. So I do think that basic caps do run a bit larger, that's on my experience. So please, you know, um, if you are a petite cap, definitely try one, you know, it might be just the manufacturers I've tried. So let's have a look at the inside and this is the basic cap. There's no lace, there's no mono features whatsoever. You have this rose covered material covering those wefts on the top. It's really hard to see those wefts because it does have that fabric and it does have that permatease, which is really good at camouflaging those wefts on the top bit. So that's really nice. The ear tabs are very flimsy on this piece. So, you know, they don't have really substantial support around the ears and it just has your little basic nape with your pull adjusters. So overall, it's a very basic cap, very lightweight. So it is extremely lightweight. Again, I'm really pleasantly surprised by the fibers and how soft they are and how light they feel. You know, they were light on my previous Rene of Paris wigs, but I just find these are a little bit more silkier to the, to the touch. And yeah, I just can't tell you how much I love melted marshmallow. So I hope you guys have seen melted marshmallow before. If you do like a nice blonde, balayage and a blonde ombre like I do, I would definitely recommend you go check out Melted Marshmallow from Renee of Paris. It is one of my favorite blonde shades. So it does have a really nice dark rooting. The rooting on this tends to run a bit warm, so it's not so it's not a cool brown or a cool um, root. It is a bit warm because that first part of the ombre is actually a warm blonde. So it's more like a butterscotch with a bit of warm blonde in there and that leads to that beautiful cool tip. So you'd think, how are they blending warm with cool? It works, it just looks amazing. So I really love this color combo on Melted Marshmallow and I've had it in a few weeks. So yeah, definitely recommend it if you have not um, tried this beautiful ombre and it's really summery as well. So it's coming on summer in Australia and Melted Marshmallow for me is just spot on for summertime. So I don't want this to be a really long winded review or video. So I will pretty much just recap my thoughts on this wig. Because it is a limited edition wig, I won't say too much about it because you might not be able to find it, but I will try and focus on the features because I haven't really spoken much about basic caps on my channel and I haven't really spoken much about Renee of Paris. So basic caps, in my opinion, if you have some bio hair, I love a good basic cap. If you have no bio hair, it does require some tweaks and tips to make it look a little bit more realistic in the front. So if you are looking for realism, then a basic cap might not be the cap for you. But if you are looking for just a really slip on and walk out the door wig, then definitely try a basic cap, try it out, you might enjoy it. The Renee of Paris fibers are based on this wig, really silky, um, really nice to touch. They are very fine and lightweight. I really enjoy that. It is a really nice fiber. Obviously, I mentioned um, my love for 
melted marshmallow earlier and I really really love this blonde ombre it's just stunning and if you've not seen it if you've not tried it then I definitely recommend it if you like um, that really cool modern ombre look so this wave pattern as I mentioned it is a beachy wave but it does start very low and it's just like it's been curled once in the curler and the rest has been left straight I really like that it is very very modern and on trend at the moment if you can't find the Renee of Paris style in this beachy wave bob then definitely have a look at the big sister which is Belle Tress Sumpton or Sumptown I will put a link down below as well where you can um, have a look at that style too so that is it for my review today guys and thank you so much for watching I will definitely try and film more videos very soon it's been a little while but i think i'm now motivated to film a lot more and i have some really beautiful human hair wigs to show you guys as well as some cute shorties coming your way so thanks for watching and i hope to see you all very soon bye